Should you build a personal brand or business brand? Hi, my name is Vigita Simonsen. I share these little videos around business almost every day. So if you like, comment, like, uh, like content like this, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. Share it with a friend and click that little notification bell if you're on YouTube so that you get notified every time I upload, I upload a video. But let's jump into it. Should you make a personal brand or business brand in your business? Well, um, let me share a little story from my life. Um, I used to have a, a, a nutrition coaching business that I called the um, evidence-based diet. And I spent a lot of time and money on building that up. But uh, I eventually it turned into a business coaching like I'm doing now. And all that time and money that I uh, put into building up evidence-based diet I couldn't really use that because, um, yeah, it would sound funny if uh, I called it evidence-based diet and I'm doing a business coaching. So uh, then I started just under my own name, uh, Vigitsa Simonsen, because I really didn't know exactly what I should call my new business. But I recently decided to call it uh, Greatness for You. And uh, the reason that I'm calling it something like that instead of Vigitsa's coaching uh, that is what I do. I do business coaching, but I'm calling it something kind of generic because then in case that I start to do other things, then I, I'm not, my business name can still stay the same. And um, I'm ch changing from my own personal name uh, to a business name. Because, uh, well, there's for and against it. Some people are for it and some people are against it. But uh, the thing is that um, uh, the, the world's greatest marketer, Neil Patel, he says that uh, a business brand can become much larger. And if you think about it, there's brands like Coca-Cola, Nike, Samsung, uh, Toyota, and many other brands that um, they are business brands and not personal brands. Then there's other brands, uh, personal brands like uh, Tony Robbins. He's also a big brand, but but uh, what happens when he dies? I hope he lives a very long life. I love his content, but uh, what happens when he dies? Uh, I think his business will suffer a lot from it. Uh, whereas if he had a, a business brand, then other people could uh, carry on in his name and in his spirit. So, um, yeah. That's for and against. Comment below what you think and what you have done and um, um, what you call your business if you have any. And uh, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe, share it with a friend and click that little notification bell if you're on YouTube so you get notified when I upload a video. And also if you need help with uh, getting clients or starting an online uh, coaching business, then uh, send me a DM or comment below. Take care. Bye.